in another life, in another dimension. Not this one, though. <laughs> oh, she got us good. I love a good gotcha moment, except this one really isn't. Let's break it down. Yes, doctors recommend avoiding high mercury fish during pregnancy, and yes, some flu vaccines used to contain a mercury-based preservative. But here's what people miss. It's not the same type of mercury, and dose absolutely matters. The concern with fish, that's methylmercury. It builds up in the body over time and can cross the placenta, making it harmful for the developing fetus. That's why we say limit swordfish and shark, but go ahead and enjoy your salmon or shrimp. Those are low in mercury and rich in nutrients. Now let's talk about vaccines and thiomersol. It's a preservative that was once used in multi-dose flu vaccines. It contains ethyl mercury, which is completely different. It's broken down and cleared from the body quickly. It doesn't build up like methylmercury in some fish do. And here's the part that people always leave out. Most flu vaccines today do not contain thiomersol. Also, thiomersol mercury was removed from routine childhood vaccines back in 2001, just out of an abundance of caution based on public feedback. If you're still worried, ask for a thiomersol free flu shot. Most are now made in single dose vials or pre-filled syringes without thiomersol. So why do vaccines have preservatives or other ingredients at all? Because they keep vaccines safer and effective. Preservatives prevent contamination. Stabilizers keep the formula of the vaccine intact. Adjuvants help your immune system respond better. And here's what it really comes down to, dose and form. Too much water can kill you, but that doesn't mean you stop drinking water. Same goes here. Vaccines contain micro doses, tiny regulated amounts of ingredients that have been studied, tested, and monitored for decades. That's very different from environmental exposures where you have no control over how much you're getting. Ethyl mercury is not methyl mercury. Most flu shots today are thiomersal free and every ingredient in a vaccine is there for a reason at a dose that's safe and effective. So yes, we should care about what goes into our bodies and our kids' bodies. I surely do. But if this was really the gotcha moment people really think it is, it wouldn't fall apart with two minutes of actual science. If you want a balanced education on vaccine ingredients and why they're in there, see below for more.